Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be making you a pot, but not any kind of pot. This one is a Lego pot. What? So you may have seen I've done a couple of Lego projects. One of them is a Lego table. The other one was a little bit of a Lego pot where I took their faces off. Um, and the other one was a complete failure, it was supposed to be a Lego pen, but that didn't work out. This one may not work out either, but I'm determined to make this one work. So, got loads of these Lego bits left over, and these are kind of like the clear Lego bits. Um, you can obviously get lots of different bits of Lego, um, the solid colour Legos. I'm going to go with the clear one. Um, not too sure if that's the right choice, because... Um, you might be able to see some of the bubbles in this because the resin does tend to get trapped inside the Lego inside it um, But um, I'm just gonna go with it anyway. If it doesn't work out Maybe do another Lego project another day using the, the solid color Lego. So that's the plan And we all love Lego don't we? Well some of us. I'm sorry I literally have no idea what you're talking about as you know I'm a bit of a Lego fan myself, so I always like to bring out the Lego every now and again and see what I can make with it. Okay folks, so there it is. I've put all the resin in here now. Now, we are definitely gonna see some of these bubbles inside here. Now the pressure pot will do a good job, but it's not gonna be able to release some of these bubbles that are gonna be trapped inside these Lego pieces. And this is why I said earlier on that it might be better to use the solid ones because you wouldn't then see the bubbles trapped inside. Nevertheless, it's gonna make a little bit of a feature um, and um, it might turn out okay. So we're definitely going to expect some bubbles once this has come out. But I still think it's going to look alright. So we're going to end up with a nice Lego blank. No, no, no.
could be interesting. Look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. All the little bubbles in there. I actually think that kind of makes it look a little bit cooler. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, add some wood to this because um, we're going to try and make this into some kind of a pot. So um, I think it should have a little bit of a wood on the base and a little bit of wood for the lid. So I'm going to glue that up now, leave it overnight. <laughs> Okay, this is all glued up now, nice and solid. So I'm gonna get this on the lathe and we're gonna start to make a really funky pot out of this. Lego pot. Don't you just love Lego? So we finished the base, now that's ready to reverse and stick it inside the chuck. What do you reckon? Look alright? Kind of just giving it a little bit of shape on the bottom underneath as well, just so it's got a few bit of extra kind of features to the actual overall pot. Did a little bit of burning with me wire. Now hopefully this Lego project is not going to be a disaster like the last one. Right, so there we go, there we've finished the lid, uh, although I'm going to drill a hole in here, I think, to um, place in some kind of a finial. Um, don't know what it's going to be yet, maybe 
a Lego head or something. <laughs> but not too sure. So I'm just gonna just gonna finish this off with a little bit. I've just done the micro mesh, uh, which looks quite cool now, as you can see through it, which is gonna be good. Just gonna part this off, and then that will just sit inside there, hopefully. Um, and then um, yeah, just gotta think about what we're gonna put in there, really. So I'm gonna have to drill something out and fit something in there. Don't know what yet. done i've just got to stop for something to eat i am starving i deserve this today today i deserve it Darn right, whoa. Check that out. I'm pretty pleased with that, actually. It looks really funky. And you know, I love funky stuff. So put a black finial on the uh, top here because I thought that kind of complemented it a little bit better. I did start toying with like little Lego pieces um, and it kind of didn't really fit. You've got the wood there. You've got the black line, which I burnt in. Um, and then the black kind of finial kind of fits kind of nicely. But look at that, that is just so cool. It's kind of like 3 d kind of thing going on. There's the inside, and again, that just looks just as cool. <laughs> um, did have a few issues because these Legos, they do have a tendency to kind of just fly off out, you know, in space, um, as and when they feel like it. They don't adhere really well to the resin, so, um, Obviously these ones in here are kind of, they're in there and they're not going anywhere. But if you get one that kind of like just pops out, so it did have a piece in there. So it's just, it was just like a piece, triangular, triangular piece. And literally it just, just popped out. I've looked for it everywhere, can't find it anywhere. Well, it's just going to have to be part of the pot now. But you know, it's, all, it's okay. Um, but the rest of it's turned out okay to be fair. Um, got the black emblem in the bottom. Fits fairly nicely on there, so that's, that's quite cool. As Lego Pots go, it's all right. And obviously I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make that. Um, it was on the cards for a long, long time, a Lego Pot, um, and uh, I just had to get round to doing it. I got so many ideas, like ton and tons of ideas, but getting round to actually implementing each one of them is quite challenging. So uh, yeah, there's the, uh, there's the, there's the top. And that looks that looks all right so it's kind of see-through and I like these um, these these kind of Legos as well I think what we do is we will do another Lego project um, using uh, the solid colors colors the solid color Legos um, maybe we'll make a bowl or something out of it like just a whole bowl just full of Lego or something so so yeah it was all right actually 
there it is. The Lego pot has been finished. Ha <laughs> ha! So I hope you enjoyed that, folks. And, uh, and if you did, smash the like button for me. And if you could share the video, that'd be really cool. Oh, and before I go, got a few more tools in. If you haven't seen them, had a few tools made. Got my, got my logo on there. And on the bottom, um, nice carbide set. So set three on my website as we speak. Got a few more funky projects on the go at the moment. So uh, should have another weird and wonderful one for you next week. I'm not sure whether or not I get a Wednesday waffle up this week or not. But if I don't, it will definitely come up next, the, the following week. So, And again, if you don't like me waffling on on a Wednesday, just come back Fridays. If you just like the projects, then I'm cool with that. I bore myself to death. This was the other thing you I was kind of toying with. But it didn't really go very well. I think I've definitely got to get a haircut in a little bit long again. And I'm really, really fine with the idea of taking my beard off. Not completely, just a lot more than it is now. Look, the difference. This makes me look 10 years older. I really am. I mean, I'm only 25. Don't forget, Maker Central. Yep. If you haven't checked out the website yet, please head on over to makercentral.co.uk. We're only two months away now to this show. We'd love to see everyone there. It's at the NEC in Birmingham. Link is in the description below. Go and check us out. Well, I hope you all have a great weekend. And, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button on your way out. I will stick stills up. I will stick stills up at the end, as always. And also, I wanted to mention thanks so much to all my new subscribers that have come over to the channel. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Please hang around. And thanks to all my old subscribers for sticking around too. Take care.